Good evening and welcome to our midweek Bible study and prayer and thank you again for joining with us. We join together in worship of God as we open our time together in singing the hymn Lord of Creation. Father, it is good for us to be reminded that you are indeed the Lord of all creation. You are the one who has formed everything by the mere word of your mouth. You are the one who sustains the planets in their orbits, the seasons on our earth, our very lives as we walk about. You are the one in whom we live, move and have our being. The one from whom we came, being formed by your hand. And the one to whom we will go and there give an account of our lives. We come thankful for your love and grace shown us in Jesus Christ our Saviour. He came to do for us what we could never do for ourselves. He obeyed your law perfectly. And he came to bear for us what we deserved to bear ourselves. Your wrath against our sin. We thank you for the grace of your Holy Spirit. 
he who has been given to open our eyes to behold wondrous things out of your law, he who has been given to let us see our sin for what it is, and the beauty of Christ for all that he is and has done. We pray that he may open our eyes this night, that as together we listen to and learn from your word, so we may grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom together with the Father and the Holy Spirit reigning as one God in three persons, be all praise, honour, glory and blessing, now and for evermore. Amen. We turn to read together in the Word of God and we continue in the section John 13 to 17, the Upper Room Discourse as it's often referred to. And this evening we're in John chapter 15 and reading verses 1 through 17. This is the Word of God. Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this than he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command. Love each other. Amen. We thank God for this reading of his own inspired and inerrant word. Well, before Dr. Ferguson comes to speak to us once again, let us join to sing together the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. <laughs> 